Hey everyone, Nick here again with a quick Excel tip. I ran into a situation today where I needed to make sure that two columns of data that I had matched each other. And I had hundreds of rows of data. This is just a quick little example that I just uh, made up. And I really wanted a visual way to see if column A matched column B. So what I did is I created a dummy variable, a dummy column, just a column of uh, that I'm going to make up here, and I just titled it match. And now I'm going to put in a formula here. And all I want to do is type equal sign, click on this first cell that I want to match, click equal again, and click on the second cell that I want to match. And what this is asking, asking Excel to do is uh, it's asking it if this cell here in column A matches column B. And if it does, it's going to return a value of true. And if it doesn't, it's going to return a value of false. So let's push enter and see what happens. There we go. This is a dynamic table here. So once I put a formula in one cell, it will fill automatically that formula down the others. And now I can have a really quick at a glance way to see which cells were matching and which cells were not. So what I want to do now is filter by the cells that were not matching so that I can make them match. And what I want is for the values in column B to match the values in column A. Now, for this table, I could pretty quickly just go and, you know, type in those numbers individually. But for a table of hundreds or thousands of pieces of data, that would be really difficult. And the thing is, you would think that you could just copy this, uh, this val, this, uh, selection of cells here and then paste it over into this selection of cells there. But you can't do that exactly because if I copy this, control C to copy, you can see that it's not copying everything um, from my table, or it's not copying, uh, it's just copying those cells that I've filtered here, because you can see that by all the little separation lines right here. But if I paste this over here, it's not going to paste them directly into the cells that I have filtered here. It's actually just going to start with row four here, and then paste these values down the line. So it'll actually paste this value here into row five, and six, and seven, and eight. So it's not going to work exactly how you want it to. So, but there is is a way to do it. So all you need to do here is highlight the column, the column that you want to move over, and then highlight the other column where you want it to move to. And I just push Control to make sure that I'm highlighting both of those. And then you need to go up to the editing menu right here. And then there's this little fill drop down. And when I drop that down, it's asking me, do you want to fill values to the left, right, up or down? And in this case, I want to fill values to the left. I want all the values in column B to go into the same cells in column A. So let's click on this left button and see what happens. And it worked. So all of the values from column B in this filtered table went into the exact cells that I needed them to in the filter table in column A. And now I can unfilter this table and now all of my rows should be matches. And they are because only true uh, is right here. So I'm going to click OK and that gives me my entire data set. So that's one really quick way that you can fill um, values from one cell, uh, from one column of cells into another column of cells when you have that filter button selected so that you have hidden rows in your data sheet. I hope this was helpful and if you like this video I hope you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I You'll get automatic notifications every time I do a new Excel tutorial uh, or data design PowerPoint or Excel tip. Um, I really appreciate it. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.